Hey guys, it's me, Ulises Hernandez. So, back in February, I did a uh, top five musical theater movies. Well, um, today, this month, on March, I will be doing a top five horror movies. Well, um, even though... I do both like uh, horror movies and musical theater, so I already made uh, top five movies about the musical theaters, so I'm doing the top five movies of the horror movies. So here we go. Number five, The Ring. The reason why I put The Ring for number five is because it is really scary, but... I don't know why they said in seven days that this girl is going to kill you. Even though it's a cursed tape, but... I think there's this thing that I watched on Snarl, which is... That was based on of a true story. Well... If you're trying to buy some movies, like, you want to watch, but don't get the ones that are cursed. They may be... Weird, or maybe evil. And number four, this one is like a, a collection. Well, anyways, number four, The Addams Family. Well, it's not actually a horror movie, but it's actually a, a children's horror movie they like to watch, where they don't have the, the blood and stuff like that. The reason why I put the Adams Family for number four is because that it's really cool. I mean, well, it's not that scary like the you know, the Ring. Oh, well, I said it's scary, but not not that's less scary. I meant, but this one's not really that scary that much. It's amazing. Oh, well, I give good credit to Angelita Huston as. Patricia and Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester. Well, really, Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester is my character that I love. Well, for the Christopher Lloyd characters you guys love, like Doc and McBrown or any kind of character, <clears throat> well, what's your favorite? Let me down below in the comment section. Number three, Beetlejuice. The reason why I put Beetlejuice for number three is because how Michael Keaton played the role so well. <coughs> and it's hella cool to see that where he watched The, the Exorcist about 167 times. Well, he didn't watch it, but he told uh, Adam and Barbara that he'd been watching this movie. Well, he has some qualifications that they wanted to ask him. Well, even more cool is they turn a movie into a Broadway production. Well, I haven't seen it before, but hopefully I will, will someday. <laughs> and the next one for number two it's also a collection as well. <clears throat> it's not one, but many. Number two, the classic black and white horror movies. The reason why I love th these type of movies because back then in the 1930s, Universal Studios made a monster genre of from the 30s to the 1950s. And it's hella amazing. Well, one of my favorites out of all these six movies that I have showed you is Dracula, Frankenstein, and The Wolfman. These are the three characters that I love the most. I'll never forget these three. 
While I still watch the other ones like Bride of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, The Mummy, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Mole People, The Van and the Opera, and all the other classic monster movies. Well, back then, there were no swearing and stuff. Just the, the character itself and the process of the movie. Number one, this is my favorite movie of them all. Number one, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The reason why I love this one because Letterface is one hell of a killer. Well, he's not like all the other killers where they all, you know, do some bad stuff. By their own. Letterface was been used by his cannibalistic parents to do his work. And they're just using him. If he doesn't do it, they'll, they'll abuse him. That's the reason why Letterface is my favorite horror character. <coughs> and then back last month when I watched the, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix. Oh my god. It was cool. Even that, now that I watched the new one that came out on Netflix, I also watched the whole entire franchise as well. <laughs> well, that's about it. And what's your favorite horror movies as well? Let me know down below on the comments section, and I'll see you next time.